West Point is a great place for our high school students to learn about leadership and team building and how to sacrifice for others and being selfless for others. We want to set up some standards to measure yourself on how we're going to behave and act all the time as people, as students, as hockey players. And it was the first opportunity to talk to the boys about what our expectations are of them individually and as a team. So I want you guys starting to think about how we, how we have to behave on campus, okay? Respect teachers, coaches, and peers. Respect property. Make friends with everyone and be a nice person. Uh, brotherhood, be a good brother. What's that? Uh, Com camaraderie. Time management. Oh, yeah. Time management with like homework. There's so much history behind West Point and like all of us learning that together, being in a hotel together, playing hockey, like doing everything we love as a team, I think was very important to start off the year. When we first got there, it was just crazy. We were looking at the campus and it was like a castle. It was so cool. It was like I was in like a movie or something. This is the place that the British could have cut off New England from New York. If that happened, the British would have kind of mopped up, mopped up the U.S. So this West Point was really, really important to, to kind of keep that strategic place. And it's nice to like walk around campus, tour a college, and I've uh, just seen all the awesome things about Army, like Trophy Point. Looking over the Hudson River is pretty cool. We were all looking out. It was like it was like one big family there. And the other thing that separates like West Point from other schools is the leadership aspect. So we'll get classes, uh, lectures, uh, discussions with like generals, Medal of Honor winners. So every cadet when they graduate should be an athlete, a leader, and a scholar. When you're in that environment and you're hearing about how those um, those cadets, those students have to commit to being West Point students, you get a different perspective on things. You get a different perspective on the game of hockey. You get a different perspective on the word leadership or the actions that come from uh, positive leadership. The West Point teams are always the hottest working and most disciplined team in the country. It was very evident throughout the hockey game. Their actions were based on each other and you could really see the difference between high school and college. It was such like an electrifying game, anything that would happen. You can just feel that everyone there is like supporting each other. Everyone's there for the other people on their team. They weren't selfish in their play. I was very, very inspired by the culture they have there and playing inside the West Point ring, which was special. It's just cool to play on the same ice as like a college team where these guys have worked like all their lives to do this. And they're gonna go on to do good things. And even like the locker rooms are like, it's unreal. Like we've never had anything like that. That was really cool to like see like what the next level is really all about and having our coach, you know, set up and meeting with their coach. Hey, so here's the deal, okay? You guys are at the best leadership institution in the world. And I'm gonna talk to you about First Lieutenant Derek Kimes. Puck drops, first shift, and I was like, whoa. After the game, I go down, out he comes, looks me right in the eye, Coach Riley, thanks for coming, firm handshake. And I started talking to him. I said, hey, Derek, two great goals. Oh, coach, my line mates did an unbelievable job setting me up. I said, wow, great job killing penalties. Coach, our assistant coach does an amazing job. So every time I tried to give him a compliment, he was giving it to somebody else. So I'm thinking, this guy's got the it factor. I, I had the, the hair on the back of my neck standing, listening to Coach Riley address our boys. They were just great examples for our boys to hear about um, how these, these men were selfless as players, they were selfless as people, and they were certainly selfless as soldiers uh, protecting our country. How many guys want to play college hockey? All right, got a lot of guys. Got a lot of guys. That's good, but guess what? There are a lot of other guys, if I ask that question, have their hands up too. So you're gonna to have to be committed to being the best player that, that you could be. Nothing pisses me off more when I see a great 
hockey player who I think would be a great fit in our locker room, and I go down, how do you do in school? Eh, I do all right. Like, my teachers don't really like me. I'm like, oh, here we go. My teachers don't like me, right? Like, you make excuses in the classroom, you'll make excuses on the ice. Just like shows like how much you have to work for it, and it's just about like, are you willing to go take the risk for your teammates, block a shot with a minute left in the game? Like, are you willing to go do what matters in the big moments? It gets rid of that separation between the seniors and the younger kids, and it helps everyone just like get together as a team. So I think that trip just brought us together into like a certain way where we'll do anything for each other. Everyone is like best friends. It's like you just play so much better. You bond so much better. You gel on the ice and everything is so much better when you're all family. I'm extremely grateful for our hockey alumni and the CM alum for the financial support and just the general support and to see the benefit for these boys in this team and this program. Everyone's just stepping up into that role, that leadership role and um, taking action for others. You're not doing it for the name on the back, you're doing it for the team on the front of your jersey.